All right, so we're just going to do two quick takedowns off the Russian tie. Um, two of the things that I've been really enjoying uh, as of late. So we're going to do our uh, uh, Russian tie Uchimata and then our Russian tie Ukewaza. So from standing position, um, when someone gets a collar tie on me, the way that I'm going to disengage this that, that I really like is with a Russian tie. So he's got a really strong collar tie on me. So I'm going to take my opposite hand, bring it up and around and grab the wrist. And I'm going to shrug almost like I'm just kind of lifting my right shoulder up to my ear, shrug and turn into him so that that slides by. And then my hand's going to wrap around the shoulder here. And I've got nice tight grips, both palms. I prefer kind of like false grips. I'm not really using my thumbs and I'm wrapping my fingers nice and tight around, right? This is my preference. There's a couple other variations that you can use, but I like this, uh, this position very, very much. And my shoulders on, on, uh, Keith's shoulder and my head's coming in nice and tight. So the first one we're going to do is the Uchimata. So basically I'm just going to bring my left foot in and get my right foot to the inside, right? I can basically do just like this almost crow step. So I step, boom, and there's going to be my trip. Um, and you have two very nice options. One is a rear body lock and the other one's the front head lock. So I'll demonstrate both. So once I've got my Russian tie, I step in, I extend. And then typically, if the, uh, if the head's pretty high, I'll look to just get my body up above and, uh, and shoot my chin strap grip. But if I can actually get uh, Keith's hands out to the ground, a rear body lock is a nice option here. So if I get a little bit more power to it, boom, I can kind of pass him by and just make a connection behind his back and, uh, and look for a back tip. So um, that is the Uchimata. I'll just go one more time a little bit quicker. So here's the collar tie. I reach up and around. I'm gonna shrug, come in, get nice tight grip, my head comes to the inside, and then again I get my crow step, pop, and then I come around looking to make a grip on the back. So that's number one, Uchimata. Second one is the Ukiwaza. So, same deal, there's the collar tie, I come up, I make my grip, shrug, and I wrap the shoulder. Now I'm going to circle towards Keith, inside and my leg that circles is going to kind of do almost like a pistol squat and after i do my pistol squat this foot is going to look to catch the outside of keith's ankle and i'm going to sit to my butt and turn and that's going to get a nice trip because both this arm and this leg are going to be blocked by my grips so here's my russian tie boom i get in nice and tight i step in and then i just make sure i don't ever lose this grip so I can follow uh, Keith to the ground and get chest to chest. So one more time with the Ukiwaza. Here's the Russian. Come up, shrug, get my grip nice and tight. My head comes in uh, close to Keith's ear, and then I circle. In, there's my trip. I follow him all the way to the ground. It's almost like I'm trying to push his wrist right to the center of his chest. And that gives me Two really nice, very simple, also low risk takedowns off of um, your standard Russian tie.